ask you about the fact that it's not necessarily an alternative art form anymore because one in three people have it. Does that... People are tattooed now, right? Yeah, like, if I go to a gig, I'm in the minority having blonde hair and no tattoos, which is quite weird for a metal gig or whatever. And that's... I kind of like that as well. But does it bother you that it's more mainstream as an art form? No, not at all, because it's like... It's more accepting now, and yeah. everyone should accept everyone. It may not be for them, yeah. but the fact that there are so many more tattoo artists out there, and the industry's got so much bigger, and it's moved forward so quickly, because there are so many more tattoo artists than there were ten yeah. years ago, you know. And also, like, because it was a smaller industry ten years ago, there was like less women in the industry as well, like that. And compared to now, especially like. I think women tattooers probably way up to male tattooers now, you know, with the amount that there are. So, yeah, it's good. I was going to ask you about that, because I, it seems an old-fashioned question to even ask it, but but is there an element of sexism in tattooing at all, or would you say you are on an even kind of keel? It depends where you are. I'm. Mm. It depends what shop you're in, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, there's obviously still... Um, a generation, not the whole generation, but there is a generation of tattooers who may be still finding the change a little bit hard because they're like, it's traditional, you know, they're like the tattoo industry was built up on years of tradition and then that's kind of changing now and there's all these different styles that are evolving and people are doing different things and different techniques and there is like a bit of the old boys that don't like it but yeah. I've met plenty of old boys as well who love it and are totally embracing the new like evolution of tattooing yeah. if you like and um, as far as sexism goes for me personally I've heard stories of yeah. there being like of like female friends who have gone to tattoo in guest spots in different shops like having hard times with the guys and like getting comments of like oh I didn't realise the girls could pull lines like that you know like things like that but I'm really lucky and I've always worked with the guys that I've worked with I've always been really supportive like brothers and father figures you know like always really supportive and just want to push me yeah. and then I worked at good times for over just over a year and that's largely a female shop like um, I think it's pretty balanced now actually um, but it was when I was there it was like m mainly female dominated which was really really cool yeah. like I remember getting there and like working for a woman working with all these women I was like I can get on board with this this is awesome and just to be around some of the most kind of like um, powerful women in tattooing like I used to work for Nicole who's been in the industry for like 15 years and she do you know what I mean? She comes in every single day and she works from 12 to 7. She smashes out sleeves, back pieces, and it's always on par. She always yeah. upholds this standard of tattooing, you know, and they all do at that shop. Um, but it's, yeah, I feel like I've been really lucky and come into the tattoo industry in a really balanced environment because yeah. I've worked with men and I've worked with women tattooers, you know. And it's great. I'm really glad to see that there's so many more women coming into the industry, as well as guys, you know? Like, yeah. there's as long just as they're so good artists, exactly. it's good. It shouldn't it? be an issue yeah. anymore. That's the thing. I want to talk about the environment which is kind of conducive to you doing tattooing, because you've had some pretty cool music playing. Is, do you need the music to kind of get in the zone? Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. I'm a bit of like a. Um, a creature of ham habit and a bit of a hermit as well like and I think that's why me and Charlie who I work with and Raf the other guy who I work with it just works so well for us um I have I listen to a lot of different music I have a really eclectic taste in music that was good about the last shop as well good times that I worked at um was that there were so many people and my boss had a really eclectic taste so we got to listen to loads of different cool stuff but um yeah I just I guess I don't listen to the average, oh, sorry, the average, <laughs> yeah. um, the average tattoo shop music vibe yeah. that you'd expect to get because you'd expect to like go in and just be like metal or rock playing, you know. But I like to mix it up. I like yeah. to listen to rock and metal. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes I like to listen to bashment and dancehall, and sometimes I like to listen to Disney soundtracks. <laughs> Who doesn't? What's your favourite Disney movie of all time? Snow White. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I have had tattooed on my chest really, really big. Can we see it or is that hard to do? I don't know. I think you can no see. No one put a microphone. <laughs> like it's going to ask her a question. 
Um, yeah, she's, oh, wow. She's really big. She goes over like my whole chest, and her, the apple is like the hand holding the apple that like, comes up here. That's pretty yeah, sick. A Disney nut. Who well, everyone should be in my book. Yeah, definitely. I love Disney. Like my house is like a five-year-old girl's dream. <laughs> Can I come? Yeah. I'll bring my trolls. It's like yeah, please bring the oh, trolls. Will, yeah. Princess in the pea bed. It's like four mattresses oh. piled up high with like. Yeah, just it's too much. Amazing. I don't go into it. It's pretty embarrassing and a bit private. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now. I imagine doing tattooing, you're not always venting and having an outlet for what you're feeling that day because you're doing someone else's artwork. But do you have like a way of venting how you're feeling through other artwork or artwork when you're at home? Or um, I'm really lucky. My customers, like I've always only ever drawn my own stuff. And through that, people only ever really come to me wanting the stuff that I draw anyway. Mm. So like I'm just really blessed in the fact that I've only been tattooing for three years, but I've already been able to kind of like niche myself. I think hand poking has helped that a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm just really lucky that I don't really have that problem. And it's always like an understanding where someone will come to me if they have a certain design that's not mine in mind. Um, if it's something that could be adapted to my style and that I could put my own twist on, uh, then definitely would do it. If it's something that is completely not me, then again, I would just say this is not going to work yeah. because I have to be really into the design for me to give you the best tattoo that I can yeah. give you. If I'm really not feeling it, then it makes me yeah. question it and then I get nervous and then shit starts to go wrong. Yeah. So I avoid that whole area. It's like anything. If you're not invested in it and you don't like it, people can tell, I think, through the results, yeah, can't they? Definitely. Whatever you're doing. I can tell through yeah. the results and then I go home and I don't sleep because I think... I could ruin someone's life. That's on their body for the rest of their life. I was going to ask you about that. Do you do you kind yes. of critique yourself every time and every think, day. oh, I could have done that squiggle bit better? Or Yeah, like, I'm my own worst critic and I think a lot of artists are and mm. especially a lot of tattoo artists because you do have this huge pressure. You know, you're not just pleasing yourself. You have, some, you have to please other people, but yeah. even more so because they're the one taking it home at the end of the day. <laughs> and if they don't like it, we can't rub it off. It's, yeah it's like it's pretty intense yeah. so like yeah I do get I do get nervous but um I've never had anyone complain or anything like that so I'm really lucky but especially at the beginning when I first started like I didn't sleep for the first year oh, surprised I swear to god I like was up every night just thinking I wonder if that person wants to kill me right now or if they're still happy with it. Hunting you down. Yeah, like, are they trying to find me in the phone book? What's oh. happening right now? Like, But I've been really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.